Hello, my name is Dr. Philip Foster, and I am the director here at Site88. This is a message I've composed for all new staff on the 3394 project. Now, I would imagine that you've already read the containment procedures, but I'd like to cover a few additional points. First of all, we'd like you to imagine smashing a brain into tiny bits anytime you're near SCP-3394's containment cell. While the procedures only dictate that you must do so when you're inside the cell, our best practices strongly encourage you to think of creative ways to destroy brains whenever you're near it. Such measures may include cutting the brain into slices, shooting the brain, though it would be best to imagine severe trauma similar to that caused by hollow points rather than a neat entry and exit wound, crushing the brain with a club, though any blunt object capable of destroying a human skull will achieve the same effect, burning the brain with a hot brand, though please be sure to imagine more than surface damage in such an instance, in a pinch, simply imagining hitting or stomping on the brain will suffice, but we would very much like it if you could imagine a more original method of destruction. We don't want the object to get complacent. Personally, I like to imagine a 6 meter long depleted uranium rod dropped from low earth orbit directly onto the containment chamber. This impact would result in the obliteration of the chamber itself and the objects contained within. Of course, I also imagine the brain being cooked by the pyrophoric properties of the uranium before being scattered up and into the air for several kilometers in every direction. The important thing here is to be creative. Beyond that, it is important that you know the composition of any object that enters SCP-3394's containment cell. Obviously, objects such as metal, ice, and paraffin wax are banned outright, but remember that a large number of objects contain one or more of these materials in their construction. Just last month, after the site's weekly paintball game, Dr. Leslie entered SCP-3394's chamber without properly cleaning his shoes. No one at the time realized that the paintballs used a congealing agent that was actually a form of paraffin wax, and Dr. Leslie lost a perfectly serviceable pair of shoes to the mistake. So be smart. Finally, it's come to my attention that several of the researchers on the project have begun to speculate on SCP-3394's motives. Do not listen to this speculation. It is both unfounded and spurious. There's no definitive information to indicate that SCP-3394 is anything but content with its containment at Site-88. And over time, I hope to see that you are content as well. If you have any further questions about 3394, please direct them to Researcher White, who will be guiding you through the rest of your orientation. Thank you very much for your time.